Hey everybody, I'm John Grinnell, and that's Lance Zerline. You can hear us on the bench on mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content here at SportsMap HOU. Lance, Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud, they looked pretty damn good, didn't they? They had great performances in the bowl games. Texas are now Texans are now guaranteed the number two pick. Should the Texans pull the trigger with their first pick on one of those two guys? I think uh, you really have to take a very, very close look at both of them and weigh the the pros and cons. I, I I'm going to study C.J. Stroud very closely. I've I need to study um, um, Bryce Young closely as well. When I say study, I look at so I have charts of size, you know, size, um, speed, high, hand size, all the stuff that. You know, for me at quarterback, I'm not really worried about that with any of these guys. I already know what you're dealing with with Bryce Young. If you're worried about him breaking down, you don't even consider him. If you say we're willing to take the chance, then you go look and how does he perform? You know, the things I look for is accuracy and uh, poise. And he's accurate and he's poised. I mean, I, I like the way Bryce Young plays football. Well, you well, CJ Stroud well, has to prove a little bit more to me. I think. You still have not we haven't seen any quarterbacks his size, 185, no. 195, whatever he is, 5'11 nope. and a half. We have not seen any of them succeed, but we've also never seen an Ohio State quarterback succeed, have we? Well, Justin Fields is trying to break that trend right now, but he still has a ways to go and who is it? You had Miller, you've had um Cardell Jones, who ended up flaming out after winning JT a national Barrett, championship. You've had, JP Barrett was a, a non-factor. You had Dwayne Haskins. Yeah. I mean, so I mean, you've got you've had zero success. It's been a, it's been Mike a, Tomzak had a nice long career. Well, that was a little while back, but yeah, and uh, Troy Smith. But in terms of the the most recent iteration, and Troy Smith actually falls in that because I think that was Urban. And this is a continuation of Urban Meyer. Um, I can't remember if he was Urban Meyer or not. Actually, Troy Smith, but you've you've had in 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 this offense. It's less about being Ohio State quarterbacks, and it's more about the offense from Ohio State. Are you are you products of the system? Are you products of these great wide receivers that you you seem yeah. to be getting every single year? At some point, you start to become concerned. When Cardell flames out, Dwayne Haskins didn't uh, get it done when he was playing. Obviously, uh, you know thoughts. Uh, I mean, uh, rest in peace, Dwayne Haskins. And then uh, Justin Fields right now is is running well, but the passing is still very very inconsistent. So. Yeah. Uh, you judge every player individually, and you try not to let it impact your your concerns, you know, your 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 evaluations. But it's hard not to. It's yep. hard not to have a little bit of an impact. Um, but C.J. Stroud has not been a hot name coming into the draft. Maybe that playoff performance will will start to spike his interest. Let me ask you a question: How's your prostate? If you have an enlarged prostate, it can be really dangerous, can't it? Yes. So if you've got increased pressure, it could go up to your kidneys, cause kidney failure. And a lot of the symptoms are related to that pressure. So having to urinate often, incomplete emptying. So you'll go, but you don't feel like all of it came out. We want an X stream, not a low stream, right? That is what we're after here is an <laughs> X stream. If you think you have an enlarged prostate, one place to go, 975prostate.com. Hey, Lance, if the Texans don't go QB with the number one pick, Derek Carr? A viable option? Nah. What else you got? <laughs> I just, I, yeah, he's a viable option, but I, I guess you could bridge quarterback it, but if you're going to bridge it, don't, you don't need to take on his contract. You don't need to give up, you don't need to give up any draft picks for sure. I mean, you can go get somebody else. You can just roll with Davis Mills. If you're just waiting for Caleb Williams or another quarterback next year, then why not just go with what you got? Why pay millions and millions of dollars for a guy that you just want to bridge unless you think he's the solution? And if you think he's the solution, then great. But, you know, Mike Lombardi brought up a pretty good point. This guy's had two winning seasons since 2014 when he was drafted in the league. That, you know, he had a lot of weapons. There were injuries this year. But even before the, the injuries, they didn't get off to a good start at all. So that's a concern for me. Absolutely. And you know what? I think this fan base would just – I mean, we see the empty seats. We see this hopelessness. This organization is so pathetic. You can't bring Derek Carr. You just can't tell. After having the number one pick and with Bryce Young sitting there, you can't tell this fan base, it's okay. We got Derek Carr. No. No, thank you. 